So the conventional approach to life, we've all tested exhaustively. And like we heard in the talk today, what that means is we treat ourselves like a sorting machine. We want to hold on to positive experiences. We want to modify and eradicate negative experiences. And there are many, many experiences we don't care about. So this is the game of life, to hold on to the positive and get rid of the negative. All of us here know that complete life satisfaction is never found in this game, even if you are able to only have positive experiences, which I very much doubt anyone in here can do that, but well done if you can. But doesn't it get boring? There's always something missing. So it's very, very clear that this conventional approach of trying to modify ex our experience, and in the Balanced View Training we call any experience data, in terms of providing us what we're looking for, this too doesn't provide us with what we're looking for. Now to return to what I said earlier, if everything is a unified expanse and the evidence of that is all of our experience, then what, what do we need to do? Just relax and leave everything alone. Let it flow on by. And you could say in the balance view training that the, f the, the support structure, the, 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 the one practice and the support structure are explicit instructions on how to do nothing with your data. Explicit instructions on leaving everything alone. Because if everything is evidence of perfection, everything is evidence of perfection. Nothing needs to change. And the only way you're going to recognize this is to recognize this. Ooh. <laughs> now that's those sorts of things used to really annoy me when people said those, you know, empty statements. But by, by, by practicing short moments, so let's do that again, like we had the instruction just, just a moment ago. If you just stop thinking right now, what, what do you identify in your experience? And you can repeat that again and again. Just stop thinking, stop describing. Now obviously, almost immediately, thoughts and sensations will come back. But in that tiny gap, what do you identify in your experience? That's enlightenment. Woohoo! <laughs> that's God, that's love, whatever you want to call it, Trevor. It doesn't matter. You can call it whatever you like, it's irrelevant. That is the basis of your experience. Nothing can be known without that quality. Now, can you locate that? Can you locate that in your experience? So, when you stop thinking, that presence, that openness, what's looking through your eyes, it's not inside you. It's not outside you. Where is it? It's there, but it's not there. Ooh. So you see the difficulty. That, now that, that, that simultaneous existence and non-existence, that is the nature of every single experience, every single data stream. So any label you have, any label, it exists and it doesn't exist at the same time. So if you... If you uh, and, and, and a way to understand this, an analogy to understand this, a metaphor, is that the data, the experiences of your life, are like reflections in a mirror, and open intelligence is the mirror. So when you look in a mirror, the reflections are vivid appearances, that they're the dynamic energy of the mirror. But you can't, th th there's nothing there. It's just the mirror. The reflections don't exist. But by the same token, you can't say the reflections don't, do not exist either. They exist and they don't exist at the same time. If you think about this, your brain will short circuit, so it's much easier just to relax. So that metaphor is a, is a very uh, powerful example of what we're talking about here. So things like anger, jealousy, depression, joy, happiness, hope, fear, ben wondering whether you're beneficial or not, all of these are simultaneously existing and not existing inseparable from the mirror of open intelligence. And so what, what you're training up here is the recognition of that inseparability. So in the beginning, if you're new, you can, you can practice this instruction of short moments today. So what that means is whenever you remember, just stop thinking and relax and acknowledge open intelligence. You already have what we're talking about here. So just give it a go. When you're angry, when you're frustrated, rather than following the descriptions, when you recognize what's going on, just stop and relax and acknowledge open intelligence. So these are short moments. You repeat them whenever you remember. And the other supports that are offered by Balanced View are just there to 
uh, for you to gain confidence in this. So that stability that you're always looking for has got nothing to do with the appearances. It has nothing to do with your experience. So if you're, if you're wondering whether you're beneficial or not, you know, some of your actions you consider to be beneficial and some people will, will consider them to be harmful. I mean, look at someone like the Dalai Lama. Most people in this room probably consider him to be a great being. But I would probably almost half the world's population consider him to be harmful. Well, firstly, really test what's on offer here. You don't have to believe a single thing that's, uh, that's on offer here. Test the short moments, listen to talks, and, and just see what happens in your experience. So the four mainstays of balanced view, the support structure of balanced view, is just to uh, enliven, elicit, and, and, and enrich the experience of what, what's being described here in your own experience. Not as a philosophy, but as an actual experience. And so what you start to see is this natural perfection, it is inseparable from your life. Your, your life is what you're looking for. So this, this turns everything on its head because I was convinced that my life was a disaster and I needed to remove myself from my life in order to recognize what I was looking for. So I came to India and um, but, but guess what? My life didn't stay in England. <laughs> it got on the plane with me and it came with me. <laughs> And it, wow, it's here with the, on, on the yoga mat with me. It's, it's sitting next to me, poking me in the back. You know, all of my relationships, all of my hopes and fears, everything just came along with me. And so, yeah, you're not going to be able to get rid of anything. And that might, that might frighten some of you, but that, that is actually a very powerful recognition that you don't need to get rid of anything. You don't need to modify anything. All you need to do is to leave it alone. And so by relying on short moments and the other support structures of balanced view, you will be able to do this. And it will re reveal to you a life of such power and perfection, it will take your breath away. You know, if you're looking for heaven, this is it. <laughs> I, do, I think I do sometimes look like a big fat cherub. You know those, those big fat angels with the little wings <laughs> that fire arrows? That's me. Yeah. So you see, this is something that I consider to be a problem, being overweight. And that's, that is the, uh, the recognition of that and all of, this, all of the low self-esteem has been completely outshone by love, bliss and joy. So what we're doing when we, ide when we identify open intelligence in our own experience is identifying something that's the same for every human being on the planet. So your recognition of open intelligence, that fundamental basis, is the same. And when we emphasise that, we emphasise a, a, a complete unity with every human being on the planet. So you will find, by relying on open intelligence for yourself, you're able to relate to people in a much more powerful way, in a very practical way. You know, we, we want practical results. We want to learn to drive the car. I don't want to talk about driving the car, I want to drive the car. So do you want what you're looking for? Or do you just want to sit there listening to someone talking about what you're looking for? So I would really, really invite you to test what's on offer in this, on this, on, in this training. Just because you've repeat, repeated to yourself over and over and over again that you are flawed and you need fixing, doesn't mean it's true. In this training, the only thing you'll ever hear is that you are perfect. Everything about you is perfect. Especially the things you do not like about yourself. Especially the things you don't like about yourself. And the only way you're going to recognize that is to leave them alone. And in balanced view, we support you in doing that. That's all we're here for, for this to become your experience. My life is amazing now and nothing's changed. It makes no sense. So the invitation is for you to experience what's on offer here.